Europe and I spent Christmas with my family in Chile. I spent the month abroad. Today it is the 17th of January. We arrived not so long ago and now I'm back and I'm excited for this 2024. There's so many things coming this year. First things first, my fiance Patrick and I are getting married in Chile in November, hopefully October, November. We haven't decided the exact date yet, but I'm very excited to take you along with me on this trip and to plan my wedding. I think I found a place. I really wanted to have a wedding at a vineyard and I found one that I really, really like. And I also bought my wedding dress, which was love at first sight. Also, if you didn't know, I have mentioned before, but Patrick and I have a, our own e-commerce business where we sell tote bags. I'm very excited, many things are coming. I'm super happy to be back in Germany. We came today and you guys, it was so snowy outside kind of made it seem like it's still Christmas time, you know what I mean? So right now I just finished unpacking, which was good because I kind of wanted to leave it for tomorrow. However, I do want to plan my to-do list for tomorrow of the things that are urgent, urgent with the company, urgent with my schedule. So my friend Katia got me this journaling book and it's called One Line a Day and it's like a notebook, a five-year memory book where you write a line of what happened that day. I hope I'm disciplined enough to keep going. So far, I have been doing it. Let's see if I can even do it. It is a beautiful day today. It's super snowing. I'm gonna show you in a second. It is our first morning back in Europe. Um, to be quite honest, we fell asleep quite fast last night, which was pretty amazing because I thought that, you know, jet lag was gonna hit hard, but it didn't. So major win for us. However, it was kind of difficult to wake up. Right now I'm gonna make some breakfast for me and for Patrick and try to organize my week. contemplated for today however the sun is shining so nicely outside gives me so much energy and I didn't expect for Europe to look so pretty I wasn't very happy to leave the summer back in Chile but I'm so happy that it's snowy and sunny just like so warm and cozy you know what I mean and even though it's freezing outside everything is so cute and then later today it's date night on Thursdays we go then salsa and it's been more than a month since we did it last so I'm kind of curious to see where we are at with our salsa oh, and hot rollers are just such a game changer every time I do it I just feel like oh my god my hair is just the prettiest it's ever been just came back from making content for I don't know a couple of hours in the snow and I think it looked very cozy and nice so I cannot wait for you guys to see it on the Toad Library channel the Toad Library Instagram I just made myself some coffee in my favorite coffee mug this is 
by Golden Days. I'm gonna put the Instagram here so you also go check her out because my friend Hannah makes these beautiful mugs. I just think they're like the coolest. I'm very happy. I made my to-do list yesterday. So mainly what I need to do right now is to work on a new marketing strategy for the Toad Library. I usually make a lot of big content that goes viral, which is very cool. However, um, I feel like lately I've been getting a little bit lazy and the content hasn't been so innovative. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do so it goes viral again and it reaches more people out. Um, hopefully tonight we also watch a movie. I will say though that what I miss the most is our local coffee shop and we tried to go after the content session but it was so cool and we couldn't get in so we decided to just come home. So I just finished editing some pictures that I just posted on Instagram. I posted a cursor and because these were some of the shots we got today I and mean, how cool it looks with the snow and everything. So I made a list of all the videos that I want to recreate for our Instagram. I was also reading some of the answers that you guys left in the comments of uh, our Toad Library Instagram. I'm really, really thinking that it would be so cool to make one of these kind of like these quilted, quilt, I don't know how to pronounce that, bags. So yeah, I've been collecting inspirations and ideas to make, of course, the best product for you guys. I was craving something sweet then we have to get going to our salsa class I will say though that I missed so much being at my row cycle classes I've been going to row cycle since October then I stopped in December because we went to Chile and now I cannot wait to be back because I really love going to row cycle row cycle is like these spinning classes where you like it's like cycle rhythm I don't know what it's called like the professional term but you go like cycling with the music and yeah my point is i haven't been there since we were in chile and i really missed it so i'm hoping that we um get to go soon good morning guys it's a new day patrick just arrived from the gym and i have been laying in my bed just being lazy i haven't fully recovered from our trip even though i am very happy we do not have jet lag but it's still kind of difficult for me to get up in the morning but when is it not difficult for me to get up in the morning huh it's always difficult so yesterday at the shop we got these health shots that we love taking and most probably we should make our own yes because we have the machine to make them okay Do I open yours? you open this one i mean you want you want this one or that one this one This was kind of nice. Uh, it was not horrible. I remember one of these from the shop was so horrible, and I think it was that one. So spicy. It's so good for your throat. Ooh. Patrick just came back from the shop. He bought a few things. Show us. What did you get? Bio lax, bio steak, bio ground beef, bio cheese, bio ham, bio feta, bio blueberries, bio palta. No, this one is not, but the ones we bought here the other day. And good bio pumpkin. Good bio pumpkin. And tahini. And bio yogurt. Tell and me. And bio inver. What are you making me for lunch? Oh, some kind of salad that you sent me. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm excited for it. Yeah? It's still snowy outside. Makes it cute. Makes winter a bit happier however it's not sunny anymore and it's gray now so yeah whatever i'm gonna make breakfast i have no idea why but i think today i'm feeling a little bit under the weather it was a bit hard to wake up this morning i have a lot of things to do today for work i just finished editing some videos i just posted a reel and right now i think i'm gonna get, make myself a matcha 
So today I'm gonna try to batch edit all of the content that I had and I'm gonna try to also research and brainstorm for my personal account and let's see if I also manage to post a YouTube video. I don't know when the best day for posting a YouTube video is but yeah, maybe I'll post. Maybe I'll go to a coffee shop later. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know what I'll do. The thing is that yesterday I tried to go to my favorite cafe but it was so full. And if I go out, I generally try to go outside the house while it's still daylight to enjoy some sun and vitamin D and it was cloudy before but now it's sunny so maybe we will see Sorry, Patrick's laptop broke down. He cannot charge his laptop anymore for some reason. So he came to Apple and I came with him. I did some shopping. So I got some things at Tiger, of course, just because I'm obsessed with that store. And also another shop that is here in my city was uh, closing and I got some biker boots for like 20 euros, which is, I think, a major win. And right now I told Patrick, okay, I'm gonna wait for you at Starbucks. Sadly, Starbucks is not working. I mean, their cash register died. So so we just got to sit down here, it's nice and warm inside. But it has to go to his Apple appointment and check what's happening with his laptop and see if he has to buy another one or what the situation is. So I decided that I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this very cute like date voucher coupon. So basically different coupons or vouchers that your partner can redeem. For example, this one, food truck. Or for the next hour I want to and supposedly when they give to you, you have to do that. I don't know, there's too many cute fun date ideas I think. I also bought this for ice lettuce at home, of course. And I'm very happy because it came with the straw. So I just think it's very cute. Also I've seen online that there's on Amazon I think this glass straw with a little ribbon and I think that's super cute so I'm gonna happen to find that and what I'm the most excited about is that I am a mug junkie and I bought the cutest mug ever Patrick hasn't seen it yet let's see what he thinks and it was five euros so of course I, I have to get it happy boo boo show me are you a happy boo boo Hello guys, it is actually Sunday today and I haven't vlogged the whole day but just because this morning we were cleaning up we haven't cleaned since we came back and we came back I think on Wednesday so yeah, the apartment was very... actually it was not that bad but they were like pieces of dust it was a bit dusty in some areas so we wanted to do like a deep cleaning however we did not have time <laughs> until today so yeah, this morning we got up late just because I don't know, I feel like our body is still like kind of getting used to us like being in the European time zone and then I actually had to start making lunch because Patrick had a basketball game today and I didn't go with him this time so yeah I had to make him lunch because then if he eats very late then he gets like this heavy feeling uh, when he's playing and it's never like a good idea and then I actually posted my YouTube video it was a girl's trip vlog to Vienna if you didn't know I used to live in Budapest then it's Kind of very close to Vienna to go by train so when my friend Katia visited me we went together for the day and it was such a fun trip so it was a very long time ago however I had the footage and this year I told myself that I really really wanted to start my YouTube channel I tried to do that last year but I did not do it so I didn't have time you know and I feel like this year I kind of already know how my days kind of go I already know more or less how my days are gonna be like and things that I need to do so I can try to be more organized and attempt to do more of the things that I 
wish I could have done last year. So one of my goals for this year is to grow on YouTube and yeah, so my first video is live and I'm super happy about it. And yeah, so I published my video and then tried to go to my favorite coffee shop. I haven't been back since we're, you know, back in, in Germany. But the two times that I actually have attempted to go, it's been so full that I cannot even go and have a latte for takeaway. So I was like, okay, let me just save the money, come back home and have a coffee. So guess what? this is what i'm doing and yes it's in my new mug you cannot tell me this is ugly like i'm so obsessed with this mug i love it i just think it's so unique i was telling patrick when we have our own place because we're renting this apartment when we have our own place what we're gonna do is to have a full shelf where i'm gonna have all my special mugs that i have collected over the years because i'm a mug collector i just love mugs the more special they are the better and i have some very special ones and I would like them to be part of a decoration of our home. So Patrick actually called me that he's gonna go have some dinner with some friends and I'm staying home. I feel cozy today. I feel like watching a rom-com maybe or reading a book. You know, I am big into books and I discovered last year this author that it's called Daphne Perry maybe. Yeah, Daphne Perry. And she has the best books ever. Like I did not know what kind of books I mean, I'm always a rom-com kind of girl. Like, I love rom-com movies and I love rom-com books. All of these books that make me want to laugh and I just love them. And if it's romantic, I'm, I'm down for it. However, this author made me realize that my favorite kind of books are the ones that have like a little bit of kind of thriller or kind of like mystery in them and also rom-com. So I've been reading all of her series. I think I started with one that is called the Eden series and all of the stories in these different series are situated in Montana, in the States. And I don't know how she pictured the mountains and the whole vibe of the small towns. It's just so cool and cozy. So the first one was the Eden series that I read. And then I read the Calamity series and also 10 out of 10. And now I think I'm reading Clifton Forge series. And let me tell you, I finished reading last night, The Riven Night. Oh my goodness. I think this is my first 10 out of 10 book of the year and the reason being it's because it's not only a, a like a romantic okay let me tell you a little bit about it because i'm just very excited about it so the book is about this guy called isaiah and he was released from prison because he did something in the past and it landed him in prison for three years and then he moves to this town called Clifton Forge, and then he starts working as a mechanic in this mechanic shop in this town, there is like this motorcycle club that now it no longer exists, but uh, they used to be involved with some shady businesses. So yeah, the motor club doesn't exist anymore. However, some of the people that work in there used to be involved in this motorcycle gang. Isaiah moves to Clifton Forge and then starts working in here when the girlfriend of one of the motorcycle club guys is kidnapped. And not only the girlfriend, but also a random girl who was in town for the first time visiting her mom's tomb because her mother recently passed away. And Isaiah and these motorcycle guys go to try to find these girls and they were actually in a cabin in the woods. There's not so much detail about this part of the book, like how the, the story begins after this incident. Something happened in the cabin that only Isaiah and the other girl named Genevieve know about so only the two of them know about and genevieve claims that she owes her life to isaiah and in order to protect him she's gonna marry him so if anyone ever finds out what happened in that cabin they are gonna protect each other so it's like kind of like an arranged convenience marriage and isaiah does not want to marry anyone he's not even against relationship he's like against any type of like form of love he believes that he doesn't deserve any so yeah and it's so interesting because I don't know if I'm the best trying to explain the story, but I just think that the way the book is narrated and it's written and the, how the story like evolves, there's so much mystery around it and you want to know what happened in that cabin and why Genevieve is so grateful or in depth with Isaiah. So yeah, Genevieve actually it's in Clifton Fort because her mother was killed and she wants to know A, who kidnapped her and B, 
who killed her mother. So yeah, the whole book evolves around this story and it's just like mm, uh, chef kiss. Just pff, so good. It blew my mind. I couldn't stop reading. I couldn't put the book down. Very good book. So I just finished removing my makeup and I'm getting ready for bed. I just wanted to quickly hop in and say goodbye to you and thank you so much for joining me this week. It was very fun to take you along places. And let me know if you like these weekly vlogs, weekly updates. So I'll see you on the next one.